you a devil at home and you put on the suit and you go to church, you ain't never dressed up devil. That's right. If you go going to get baptized and you go down in the water and you come up and your heart ain't changed, you ain't nothing but a wet devil. That's it. At the end of the day, that's what we have. We have a whole lot of, of singing uh, hypocrites in our churches, a whole lot of preaching hypocrites in our churches. When are we going to get back to really honoring God with our hearts, with our life? My question is, do you have a religion or do you have a relationship? Because we all know how to make it look good and sound good. But if you were to really stand before God and God was to ask you, what was this done for? Yeah. What was all this running around the church done for? Was that really worshiping me? Or was that just so people could get a show out of it? Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? What was your reason for going to church today? You feel like I was going to give you points for that? But you've been uh, cheating people, and you've been stealing, and you've been sleeping with three different women before you got here, but that because you came to church is cool. Yeah, yeah. Now, the, the, the truth is, is that we, we, we don't understand relationship, and it's killing religion. It's giving religion a bad name. <laughs> you know, uh, and, I, and I can just be honest, I'm a minister, I'm a preacher by trade, but so many preachers have given preachers the word preacher, the title preacher, the title minister, such a bad name, that a lot of times I don't want to be associated with them. I want people to get to know me for who I am and see God through my character. Yeah, yeah. As opposed to shooting a title out at you. Don't put title on my name. Because when you see me and you be around me and you see how I live my life, that is going to win you over for God. Because I'm not trying to prove to you who I am or what I am. I can show you who I am. That's what the Bible says. Let me see your good works. Not That's even. it. Because you can talk about that, but until I see your walk with God, yeah. that's what's going to win somebody over. And the way you get that is understanding relationship. Man looks at the outward appearance, but God looks at the heart. And the problem in society, the problem in our church is we put so much emphasis on what it looks like on the outside that we've gotten away from getting the understanding that we have to be good on the, on the, on the inside. We put so much emphasis on looking good on the outside yeah. that we overlook being good on the inside. inside yeah. We put so much emphasis on making it look nice on the outside that we, have, we forget about that we have to be nice on the inside. And yeah. here's my question. Oh, dear, myself, what good is it for me to bring you a big old box wrapped real pretty and it say from dad to dear? You get the box, you rip all the paper off of it, and then I, when you open it up, it's just a box of dirt. How exciting is that? <laughs> it's not. <laughs> what, what, what if I was to give you a big old wrapped box with a bunch of ants in it? Mm -mm. <laughs> would, you, would you like that? Is that a good present? Mm -hmm. But that's what we do. We think that God cares because we wrap up nothing and that look like something. But the truth is, it don't matter how, what kind of package you put a snake in, it's going to be a snake. That's right.